Hey everyone, I'll wait till everyone catches up. Um, I lost everyone, so I don't know what happened. So hopefully, hopefully it's not going to be one of those nights. But we will see how we go, hey? All right, let me just wait till everyone comes back. But tonight, my name is Amanda Fitzgerald and I'm an independent STEM help demonstrator and I've already been through all of this. Um, please just watch the first part if you're interested in knowing what's going on with stamping up. But I'm looking at the Stamparatus. So um, yeah, so you, you can get replacement magnets. Um, you can buy grid paper. Um, <laughs> sorry, um, yeah, I'm just trying to see if everyone kind of catches me back I'm gonna have a sip of my cup of tea I think if you're watching this on replay then please feel free just to um, fast forward oh while, while I also think of it too if if you like what you're watching please please do share um, I, I really would appreciate that um, it really would be nice if if you can share it with your circle of friends and and anyway um, finally yes Nola I'm back <laughs> Um, yeah, share it around. All right. And like you, you can also get this grid paper. The grid paper is great if you've just got your foam map, mat because you can actually use your little pad and replace your papers. I use my papers like they're going out of fashion. So, um, and then like I say, you can get this deluxe. Um, they call it the deluxe foam mat, which has your metric metric measurements on it too and it's like shiny so you can clean it off as well good girl stay hydrated thank you so much i think um oh, uh, that was louis hello might be first time watching that's awesome How, great to have you along and glenda i'm back again i don't know what happened who knows i tried to fix up something and it went boom gone not work not working anymore all right let's let's get let's get going all right so I'm just going to show you um, how I did this one here. Well, not totally. I'm just going to show you how I did the flower and how you can actually use both plates. Hey, Christy, how are you? Hey, Jane, you're back. Awesome. I'm hoping everyone can find me. Um, I think, hey, Christy, I'm not sure if we spoke before. I think we have, but um, welcome, welcome. And, and thanks for joining in on my live. Back to you, laugh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened. And Krista, hey, cool. All right, so let's grab a piece of cardstock. Over this way. Went the wrong way. Okay, so this cardstock is just, this card here is the front where I put the flower on, is actually 10 centimetres by 14.4 centimetres. I always have a whole heap of those already chopped up. So, what I mean by stamp positioning tool. So, if you get this, um, like a, a what they call a two-step stamp, and this one's actually kind of, you kind of build the flower. Okay, so we first off we'll get these leaves, and we'll place them on. So it's going to be our first one. So we we place it on where we want it, and then we pick it up, just like that. So then we would get our whatever color we want to use so we might use um, some shaded spruce so shaded spruce um, for the outline of the leaves so then we just ink up hopefully you can see that I'll move down just a little little bit there we just ink up our stamp and then we stamp it on our piece of cardstock then what we can do we can leave that one there we will leave that one there okay because we're going to do multiple cut well we're going to pretend that we're going to do multiple cards okay so we want to do a a few thank you cards or we've got a few birthdays coming up or whatever the case may be or um, we want to make some cards up to give to a friend as a gift that's always a nice gift idea some handmade cards for them to pass on um, so you can make multiples now then we take this one now this step this is why they call it two step this one we're going to lay over the other one Oops, like this and what this is going to do is it's going to color in our leaves so we're just going to lay it exactly where we want it to be and we're going to pick it up with the other plate on the other side like that. 
and we're going to get another colour, which I'm going to use um, Parakeet Party. I think I used that on this one at the top here. So then again, we ink up our stamp and we bring it across and there we go. That colours it in. How cool is that? So that's that coloured in. We'll clean that one and we're going to leave that stamp there. Now, the other thing I should have told you is just with a pencil, what I would do too is, is, is definitely if I was making more than one, I would just put a little line where I'm going to lay my stamp, where I'm going to lay my cardstock. You're back. Ah, oh, you're back, Dimity. Awesome. Hey, Fee, how are you? It is very cool. I love this. Um, right, so we've got that. Now we want our outline of our flowers. So we're going to lay our flowers um, where they go, which is just to find the right posy. There we go. All right, so that's going to go there. Now we're going to take this plate out. And we're, hey, hey, Jill, how are we? We're going to take that plate out and we're going to turn it backwards. We're going to leave that stamp on there. And we're going to pick up our other stamp. Okay, so I'm picking it up underneath. And I'm going to colour that one up. So we're going to do that one in. Oh, I'm trying to pick another colour that I haven't used. Actually, we're going to use some of these retiring colours. So we're going to use some polished, polished pink. Yeah, I'm going to... Yeah, polished pink. So we colour that one in and then we stamp that one down. That's why you want to make sure this one's clean. Huh? Otherwise your hand would get covered. So there we go. There's our flowers. So we clean that one. Now if you were doing multiples, you wouldn't even have to you wouldn't even have to clean in between. Um, then we want to do an outline. So we might do an outline of oh no, so we want sorry, we want to colour inside. So I might colour with um, Floaty Flamingo here. Oh, actually, we might, might colour in with some Blushing Bride. So then we get our, our stamp that's going to colour in. And I'll actually show you how I did that as well. But Oh, I may as well, but I won't make a card out of this one because we've got some other cards to do. So we lift our plate up. We turn it around. This, this Honestly, this tool is amazing. I... I, I am going to have mine out on the desk more and more um, to use it. So, love this. Which catalogue can I find? The Petal Pink. You can find oh, Petal. Yeah, Petal Park. Now, Petal Park also comes with a coordinating stamp um, punch set as well, which is really cool. But it is, I'm pretty sure it's in this mini uh, Martha. It is on Petal, Petal, Petal. Page 32. So that one is in this one here, and this is the stamp set here. So it does come with a coordinating punch, um, or you can get the stamp set on, it, on its own. It doesn't have sentiments. Um, the coordinating sentiment stamp set that goes with it is on the other page. Not coordinating, but it's in the same suite of products. But you, if you have ones at home that um, you can use sentiments for, that's fine as well. Um, the mini, yes, that's exactly right, um, Dimity, the mini catalogue, yes. Okay, so we've got that one. We've turned our plate around, so we're going to pick our flowers up. I'll just try and keep my fingers under there just so I don't have to keep repositioning my um, piece of cardstock. We colour whatever one we're going to colour in. So this, if you're not a person that likes to colour, Two, the ones that say two-step stamps, and it tells you in the catalogue as well, two-step, I'll show you where it show, tells you that. So in here, it says two-step, and that means it stamps and colours your images. Stamps and, yeah, that makes sense. All right, so we bring that one across, and we're going to colour in our flowers. There we go. So how cool is that? So now what you would do is you would just, you would get another piece of cardstock. So say this is your next piece of cardstock. You'd lay it down. You'd turn your plates and you would simply colour them and go boom. And then you'd turn this one over, colour your leaves in, boom, turn it over. And then do all, all your fronts <coughs> and then go put them on coordinating cardstock and you're done. 
Okay, now how I did this other part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these ones off because I'm not, not going to make another one because I'm going to show you some other tricks with this Stamparatus. Now, if you watch one of my other lives too, I actually used this. This is the one that I made these beautiful flowers with when I I, I did um, emboss them. I also showed you how to you make a template to use with the punch that comes with it. So that's a handy video. So that's either over there on my YouTube channel, uh, Amanda Fitzgerald, or um, have a look on my business, Facebook business page and you'll find it there on one of my previous videos okay so just get all these off now just to let you know that how i did that that's with the trusty i'll just take that plate off for a second and put that down there and we'll just grab this because i've got a whole lot of lens over here um i so all i did was sorry i'll just throw this on the floor i used um stamping up masking paper and all I did was I did a I stamped and I I stamped an image on the masking paper now what the masking paper does is you can cover your image up oh hang on maybe I've done that one not, not the right way oh no that is the right way yep just see how we go there oh no so cover your image up like this. Um, mine actually broke in half, but it's I I kept it because I still you can use this over and over again once you make a template. So put that over there, and then I just made a couple of flowers. Now I don't know where my other flower is. Okay, I might have lost one of my flowers, and then all I did was I then I'm going to hold that flower there. That's not the right way to do it. <laughs> You want to actually do it right. Um, and then I'll grab some Blushing Bright and one of our blending brushes. And always make sure you do it on the edge first. And then you can just bring it on with colour. It wouldn't actually matter if you went over that flower with this one, to be honest. So once it's all stuck down, because I'm actually kind of do that holding that one there. So you do this. And then. You would then now make sure to when you're using um, the masking paper, you stick it on yourself first. And what I mean by that, put it on your clothes and get some of the lint because it actually is a little bit too sticky. The masking paper and it will it can rip your paper but just just take some of the stickiness off but the more and more you use it the less sticky it will come and there you go that was a very quick version but that's how i made um those cards there all right next technique oh there's my flower huh i'm gonna put that in there because i i will use that again so i'll put that back in there beautiful all right so that is that there i will finish that card sometime Okay, next one. Next thing you can do. Now, I'm only showing a few. There's heaps more techniques, believe me. Um, okay, we are going to do... What do I want to do next? I don't know. All right, we might... Um, I can't remember which one I want to show you next. Okay, we might show you one with this Hello Fabulous. So, what you need to do is um, grab your grid paper... And um, I'm just going to put that colour back because I'm not using those ones again. That might help me have a little bit more space in my room, space on my bench and actually see what I'm doing. We are going to create this similar thing. All right. So what you need to do is, and I'm, I'm trying to find something I prepared earlier. Here it is. So on a piece of, um, let me just get rid of that one. On a piece of one of, on one of the grid papers, and if you don't if you don't want to buy the grid papers, then you could always use um, like an old maths book. I don't know a maths book like that anymore. I'm not sure. Um, sorry, I haven't been watching comments. Love my birthday card. Oh, I'm glad. Happy birthday, Nola. Yes, have a great time. So glad for a demo on how to temper. I have one, but 
but haven't used it often yet. I don't use mine often enough, so it's time to get it out and get it, give it, get it working. Um, I got it in here long last year. Cheers, welcome, Barbie. All right. Um, yes. So on your um, piece of grid paper, this one I've actually made this. This one it was actually ten centimeters. So you can either do ten centimeters by ten centimeters, and that makes that size one, or you can do what I've got one got here nine centimeters by nine centimeters. Now nine centimeters by nine centimeters. Make sure that your boxes are perfectly um, in the center when you do like your star, your diamond, whatever you want to call it, because um, it will only work that way. So once you've got, once you cut your nine by nine card, you just put it there. And I'm going to use the Simply, should I use the Simply Fabulous again? Yeah, I'll use the Simply Fabulous. Yeah, well, well let's use this one. We'll do, we'll do some of the different ones. So we'll do some of these um, little flowers first. So all you do is you put your flower, your first, image directly in the middle where you want it to go and you pick it up now you don't need to use your magnets through this one because you're going to be turning the piece of paper all the time so I'm going to very often with my Stamparatus I use um, whatever stamp set I am just to hold that up just to crop that piece up um, okay so we're going to use um, I do have a card to show you, and I just want to do an opposite colour to this. So I might actually, we, oh, what colour am I going to use? We might actually use a bit of pale papaya. Yeah, let's. So this is these colours are the ones that are leaving us: pale papaya, evening evergreen, polished pink soft succulent and fresh freesia so all of this and your ribbons everything um will be going so get in if you like those colors so we ink it up ink up your flower and then just pop it down then what we do is we just turn it okay and then we ink up again And we turn it now I'm sure this can go wrong if it went wrong just um, turn your piece of cardstock over and try it again because I think um, oh there we go I went too far then um, I guess not all images would work so if you wanted to um, you just have to trial and error and I reckon some of them some images might not work like that but it makes a beautiful reef with any kind of stamp that you have so um and I actually just thought of an awesome idea I there's um an Easter bunny stamp set that I used the other week you could even do an Easter egg reef that would look super cool I did actually find this nine, it looks it looks nice, but the actual 10 centimetre does work a little bit more, like a bit bigger reef, like, and it doesn't kind of, my, this one kind of goes in sad, sad, lovely, I know I love these colours, and that's why I thought I'd use them tonight, um, and I'm actually going to put an order in some fresh freesia because it's, it's well, it's, it seems to be the one that's going quite quick. So, um, yeah. But, yeah, the fresh freesia ribbon, because the ribbons are beautiful too. Here's all the ribbons, and they're, they're all going as well. Um, and then you can also, if you if you want some more of the cardstock, you could all, all I, I checked and they still are in stock, you could buy the multi-pack as well which would give you all those colours, just so you've got some. Right, so we've done that. So we're going to clean that one off. And we'll pick another, pick another image. So this time we might use, um, 
I don't know whether these love hearts would work. I don't think they would. I think they would get in the way a little bit. So we need some greenery, hey? So we might put some greenery in. Um, might actually just put it, it's, it's not going to be under every flower, but we will use some soft succulent. Oh, I like this colour. It is a nice, nice, um, can't think of the word, soft green, I, I think. Not in your face. So there's that one. And then we'll turn it. So once you get the idea, if you're watching this on replay, you don't have to watch me do every single one. But it does help, um, if you haven't seen it before, to, um, to watch it all the way through. But I must admit, when I was learning off um, Fiona, in New Zealand I, I was stopping and rewinding and pausing and doing all that jazz that's that so you just really don't know how it's going to turn out but it's nice to give it a go there we go now, don't worry if you get extra marks on your stamparatus. It won't, just don't touch it with your fingers because you will end up with it on your design, your, your card, um, if you get it on your fingers for sure. All right, so we've got that one. And then we need, we need one more. So we might actually, we might actually, I wonder, hooray, <laughs> I wonder, <laughs> I'm thinking. No, no, probably not hooray. Not that many hoorays. Um, we might actually just put this one in. Let's see how this one goes around. So we might do that one in um, some polished pink. Oh, hey, Kathleen, how are you? You're allowed to be late. Living it up, you are. Oh, hang on, that's not really working, is it? I don't know how this one's going to work, but we'll give it a go. All right. Working with the Stamparatus we are. So there's that one. And then we'll turn it. It did look like you're having a great time. I'm looking forward to Easter. And a few fishing comps we got coming up. So that's pretty cool as well. In our kayaks, which is cool. Um, yeah, so you just keep turning it. And placing it down. And you can actually see, even though I'm making a mess of that Stamparatus, it's not, it's not affecting my cardstock. So you just keep turning it. Until you get back to the beginning. Oh, I, I was bound to happen. I stuck my fingers in my ink. There is, just to let you know, <laughs> now that I stuck my fingers in ink, um, stamping up do do us a favour. <laughs> I haven't got any baby wipes in here. Um, they do actually put little grooves for you to hold onto when you're stamping, that's what they are actually meant to be. So you can keep your fingers away from the ink pad, but you know, only for the people with brains. <laughs> Not me. Okay, so we'll give that Stamparatus a good clean because we've got it all mucky, including me. All right, so we take that one off and there we go. So how cool is that? And then all I did from there was I made this card here. So all I did was I grabbed some, this time we'll grab some pale papaya, 
So I grabbed a piece that I had already in here, because you know me, I always keep your off, best to keep your off cuts. So I just, that one's a little bit, um, get some glue. And I didn't do any measuring for this card, except for I know this piece is nine by nine, nine centimeters by nine centimeters. So I'll stick that down there and we'll just let that dry. And then I got some, these are beautiful as well. And these will be going as well. Oh, I actually found too, I really like with this 2021-2023 um, in colour that is going, it coordinates beautiful with the Sahara sand. So that's really nice. So you could get your multi-pack um, and the Sahara sand's a really nice base. That's what I've used on there. Oh, so we'll get the Sahara sand out as a base. Now, what was I missing? Those, oh, here they are. And you can also get uh, the 6x6 designer series paper. These are really pretty and handy to have to make cards. And they come in all these different designs and in the in all the colours. So it's just awesome because you can just coordinate everything. So we're going to use... Um, oh, hang on. So we're going to use that one. We might actually... We might coordinate it with um, a bit of soft succulent, actually. So there's our soft succulent. So then I just, I'm actually going to, um, I'll cut this one. So my um, Sahara sand will be cut at, well, while I'm here, I'll just chop this one down. So I just chop this one down nice and close, just so I've got a slight border of that pale papaya. Like that. Oh, okay, that can stay on the floor because <laughs> I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Okay. So there's our little pale papaya. We'll cut this at my normal 15, sorry, 14.8. And then we will score it at the 10.5. Just like that. And that will give us our card base. And then I will actually measure this because it worked out quite well. So I have got the ruler here. So I mean, it does do some measuring from time to time. Um, so our cardstock is five centimeters by oh, fourteen point five. So five by fourteen point five in soft succulent. So grab some soft succulent out here. Oops. So five centimeters. By fourteen point five. Sorry, I didn't do that on camera, did I? There we go. And then on the inside, I sorry, I what did I do? Five centimeters by four. So I would go um 4.8 centimetres in this one. So I'll bring it in this time. So 4.8 centimetres. 4.8 and then we'll go 14.3 I think it was. Let's see how that one fits. Looks, I might, oh, you know what? I'm just going to take a little smidgen off a little bit more just so I can see a little bit more of that cardstock. There we go. Now I'm happy. Sorry, I'll have a look on. Going to have to give this a try. Yeah, it's fun. It's cool, Angela. Good work. All right, all right, I like it. I was heaps happy when I. Like I say, watching Fiona, her name's Fiona Carson in New Zealand. I thought, oh, I'm, I'm going to try all these things. She did lots more. Um, she did like a splatting technique and all, all sorts of things, which was super cool. So we've got that there. 
and then all I did was I grabbed my coordinating ribbon and some tearing tape and we get this one off here and place that on there so that's stuck there and grab our scissors and chop that down and stick that behind and then that would go on there and then I won't make the whole thing because I want to show you some more how are we going oh we're going fine oh well, I haven't kept you too long because I remember I um, stuffed up didn't I yep so then I would have that there now I would make a I make my boo with my ribbon yeah I must admit I'm I'm keeping my and and um she actually did say a really good thing too oh, that ribbon didn't that um, bow didn't work when you go on retreats or when you're going out for the day uh, to card make or, or even scrapbook stamp artists are awesome for, so with um I'll, sh I'll show you in a second um with your stamp artists you can actually on a 12 by 12 sheet you can do a design in the corner of each of your 12 by 12 and create like your own background for a for a layout so that's awesome idea too but yeah if you're going so if you're going out for a card making day or a card making weekend whatever it may be or crafting whatever it may be um make sure you take your stamparatus because you can also and i'm trying to find my glue dots here we go um you can take your plates off so you know how i kept taking those plates on and off you could take your plates off and use it as a as a block as well as a normal block so i thought it was pretty cool too and i have forgot my block and had to borrow blocks off friends um, and she also said <laughs> that she has used her mobile phone as a block so that was quite interesting so the other thing what i did too this one is this one is no no saggy middle because I used uh, my favourite uh, foam adhesive sheet. So all I did was I grabbed um, a full sheet out. I use all the bits and pieces as well. And I put it on the back of here. And I grab a pencil. And I use quite a big sheet. Now, if you again, if you're doing multiple cards, you could find out the, the measurement of that. And you could cut them all, all up. And you'd be good to go then. So that's that and then we cut the other side down oops i can't see where i'm cutting on that one and now i can see so there's our piece of foam i'm just going to drink my cup of tea What's everyone having to drink? Well, I'm having a cup of tea that's going absolutely all over me. <laughs> um, so you take the backing off and you stick it down. Take the backing off again um, and then you can stick it down. And it just makes a really nice, sturdy um, card front for you. Um, and then with this, with this um, where the sentiment is what i used is this one here now i can't remember the name of this baby but it is so handy it you have to have your card stock cut now it comes with instructions i don't know where mine are um, but i actually put the measurements so the bottom bottom layer is 1.3 centimeters then your sentiment can go up to 1.9 and 2.5 let me see if i can see what it was called um, it might not be that easy for me to find. It could even be. Oh, no, here it is. Of course, there's a couple of them. It might be. Called, yeah, it's called this one. <gasps> yeah, the lovely labels pick a punch. I'm sure that's it. Yeah, I'm sure it's that one. 
yeah it is of course it's the same and then you've got a banner one as well they're really really handy so um, what you can do is you you find out what your sentiment is so say we want to use that um, we might actually use uh, let's celebrate so well if you were using I just want to show you if, if you if I was using that um, fabulous one again you just measure the stamp and see oh it's measuring just on two centimeters so I I'd probably get away with using the 1.9 whereas um, the what was I going to use <laughs> let's celebrate yep let's celebrate so that's that one's quite tiny so we use the 1.3 centimeters so we cut hang on, put that on a block because now I've taken it out just stick that on the block we take chuck it in there for a second we have a piece of white cardstock cut to 1.3. So cut that to 1.3. Now on your trimmer, the other side, you can actually go the other side and use 1.3. I don't know, just, I'll, just sometimes it's easy that way. So cut your 1.3. And then we'll stamp on it. I can find my hat. I've been very busy card making this afternoon. A little bit once my daughter was feeling, well, feeling a little bit better. And okay, so that's that. And we get our pale papaya back. And we put let's celebrate. There we go. I've done this. And this one might be a bit too thin, but anyway, we'll, we'll give it a go. We'll clean that one up. How did you make your annual catalog? Oh, I actually took it to um, Office Works. Yeah, I, I find that I I flick through it so much. I, I tend to, it tends to get real crabby looking yes yeah, so I take it to uh, office works and they'll do it for you um, yeah that's it yeah like um, Christy said yeah take it to office works cool um, yeah so then you just put this one in um, in the little hole <laughs> and punch and it will give you the end so you can either um, what was I gonna say you can either leave it long or or you it might not be good long but i'm just gonna see oh i like it there actually i might put it there this time yeah so um i might actually just chop it down a little bit so all you do is if you're not happy with the length chop it and punch it again now if you find that your piece is a little bit too short you can use a post-it note or something to stick it in there. There we go. So I'm going to put some foam tape on the back of there. Um, and just like that. And that can go in the middle there. So there you go. There's two lovely cards. Aren't they beautiful? Simple. Oh, we need some embellishments. So um, these are the uh, embellishments that are to go with all the coordinating colours that are on their way out. So we will grab and use some of these. And I don't know where my take your pick tool is. Here it is. Oh, we're going to put them. Oh, I'm going to go crazy because I've got quite a few of these pale papaya here. So I'm going to, I'm going to put them in every single flower because I can. <laughs> Does anyone else go crazy on embellishments sometimes? And then I look down and go, oh, crap, have I got enough? Yeah, I do. 
because I actually don't know what I've got any more of them. I might, uh, might be putting another one of them on my order too. Yeah, so there we go. Really, really pretty. All right, last technique. Let me show you this last one. All right, I'll just get that rid of that. I'll get rid of that stamp. Can I clean that? I don't know. Let's put it away. Okay, so that one's a Simply Fabulous. That's nice as well. All right, I'll put this punch away. Over there. Okay, so next one. Grab our Stamparatus back because that's what it's all about. Yeah, so you can use this to just use as a stamp, as a block, instead of your block. All right, so we get rid of our little template because you can use that over and over and over. Okay. Now, this one is the mirror image. So I'm going to use for the mirror image, um, I'm going to use the Elephant Parade, one of my faves. And we're going to use this elephant here. Oh, this one here. Yep. So we're using oh, this one here. Okay. So what we do is... We grab a piece of card, yep, over here. So I'm using um, my 10 centimeter by 14.4. So we, oh, I'm actually gonna grab a little bit of paper here. I got this paper everywhere. So I'm gonna put it, I always, I'm in when I've been doing these mirror images, I've just been, each one of these boxes on the grid and it's also on the, the actual Stamparatus on the the lid, whatever you want to call it, the arm, I don't know what you call it, they're one centimetre square. So I actually have been using it three centimetres across and then I know um, that that's where I need to line my card up again. So I'll put that one, I'll put my magnets down, I will put my elephant down where I want him and then I'm going to pick him up like that. So you can do this kind of with any um, any image that you kind of want it to look at each other. Or this is this is actually going to do their mirror image like it's looking in the water. Um, but you can do them with um, bunnies or ladybugs or, or whatever. The hippo, sorry, the rhinos. The rhinos, if you've still got the hippos, the hippos would work great. Um, but they can look at each other. So we grab our memento ink. No, oh, now I've got one that's running out. And I, I keep picking it up. I think it's yes, I think this one's all right. So we ink up our our little elephant. Oh. And we place him down. Whoops. We got a little bit of it doesn't matter. I'm gonna just ignore that a little bit. I obviously went a little bit too hard and it's still all on there, so I'm going to use my finger because you know I'm covered in ink anyway. Um, and then I'm and that is another benefit of your stamparatus. If you had stamped with a block and you weren't happy and you was not happy with how much ink had laid down with the stamparatus, if you haven't moved your cardstock, you can just have another go, which is awesome. Oh, thank you, Glenda. Love the techniques, no problem. I'm glad you're taking something away from it. That's awesome. So we'll just clean our little elephant. And this is where the fun stuff, ha fun stuff happens. But believe me, it's where you, you might go wrong as well. But don't worry. It's what it's all about is, is exploring. So we grab one of these babies. These are our silicon mats. Um, they're not dear. Um, they're in the annual catalogue. They used. You can use them for gluing. Um, some people even use them for a shim in their embossing machine if you need it. Um, not really with our with our good ones now. Our the ones that are out at the moment don't really require a shim. But hey, they're used for that as well. Um, embossing, uh, all sorts of uses these ones have. Um, they're in the annual catalogue. Um, I, I just they're not expensive. Um, and they're a great, great thing to have, especially with what I'm going to show you now. So they're on page 127 and they're $11.50. So they're not bad. And I actually decided I need another one. 
because mine was covered in glue today when I went to use it and I had to clean it off. It doesn't take much to clean it off, but I had to clean it, which I'd rather not. So lay it directly, like butt it up against, if that's the right word. Um, and then what we want to do, <laughs> we keep the elephant where it is, that's right. And we want to just put some more ink. So this is laying down the ink. So you put the ink on and you just gently transfer it to your silicon mat. Like this. Four or five times. I'm going to do one more because I lost count. <laughs> like that. I'll leave that open because I might need it again. And then all you're going to do is remember I said three centimeters in you can see through the silicon mat so I'm going to go three centimeters in I'm going to lean it up against there and I'm going to move it over just a little bit so it's right on that line I'm going to put my card stock down I'm going to put a, um, a magnet on there just so it doesn't move anywhere and then I'm going to take it back and I'm going to push now and that's going to transfer that ink hopefully on to our cardstock and hopefully we're going to have a mirror image there we go so what we can do with that one is I'm just going to clean it off it's like magic I love it I can't wait to actually try it with some more things so um, when Fiona Carson did it and I watched her she did it with trees so she had trees at the top and then they had a mirror image of the trees in the water which was pretty cool all right, so we're going to get our silicon mat out because we don't need to use that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because I will show you the card I made, but what I'm going to do is lesson learnt. Um, I'm just going to trim this down because this actually was a little bit too, um, too thick when I transferred it to my base card. So I'm going to trim this down to... Um, um, 0.5 off each side and then 0.5 off, off, off the top and the bottom but you could always color it and then um, make it make it fit for purpose afterwards so we bring back, <coughs> bring back something to excuse me bring back something to color on. So this is where we're going to use our brushes. Um, now I'm gonna use, what color have I got there? Green, um, yeah, green, uh, black, no. <laughs> um, we use our little one, the little, the little one for the dirt, green and blue. Why, where's my blue one gone? Okay, well, I'm going to use my black. I don't know where my blue is, but I'll just rub this one. Oh, I can see it. The other blue. There we go. Go on, Miss Becker. All right. So now I I don't want to colour my elephants in. So remember how I used that masking paper, that masking this stuff here. The masking paper so all I did was I stamped my image now I stamped my image on the masking paper and he's a little bit sticky because that's what that masking paper is and then I use the die so these come with dies and I die cut him out you could also cut him out with scissors if you want to so any image you have you can cut him out with scissors so cover your your little elephant um, and then I also did another one and I had to mirror image him and yeah see how he's mirror imaged see so you could actually have them looking at each other so all I did with that one was again you could cut it out but I actually laid the die upside down to cut that one out so there we go and I stick that over there then we're going to grab some green um, we're going to I'm actually going to use some some I'm just going to see if Oh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use a soft succulent because that's what I wanted to use. Yeah. So we'll put some soft succulent down. Just like that. That's 
enough. You can put as much as you want to. And then we need to put we need to put a little bit of dirt there. So I used a little bit of the Sahara sand, one of my favourite colours in my neutrals. So I use my little one, just to rub it off a bit, and then bring some dirt in here. Just like that. That's pretty cool. I need to see that another time. Yep, yeah, watch the replay. I kept watching the replay of the lady that I learnt this off. And then um, you grab some blue. So I'm going to use, um, oh, pool party. I did use pool party today. It makes a nice little, why did I use balmy blue? Let's use balmy blue. Um, that's one, one I've got out. So we get some of that on there, on your brush, rub some off, and then we put our water down. So this masking tape is awesome and works well with your stamp brass too. So there we go. And then magic. We take our masking paper off and the thing that's great about it, you've made your templates, you can stick them in here. I've got lots of templates for my masking paper. And there we go. And there's our little mirror image. And then all I've done, I won't show you how I made this whole card because it's all the magic is just what's happened just there. But all I did was um, I placed, I cut out some uh, little tr little bushes and I threw some little nuts in there that the die cuts cut out. Um, placed that on a, on a piece of cardstock. Um, however you want to lay it up, like you could actually layer this one up with um, a bit of, oh, let's just do it now, hey. Here we go. I won't do the whole card, but because you'll all be busted if you go back and watch the replay, so you can. Um... So we lay that one down there, and we chop and cut that one out. <coughs> so who's going to give this a go? I would love to see what you create. It would be awesome. Please do share with me, message me, whatever. Um, I love seeing people's creations. Put it in my comments. I'd, I would love to see what you create. Um, so that's on the soft succulent background. Um, and then again, I'm going to use my Sahara sand. Um, so I will... Another way you can score a card is this has a great lip. Our trimmer has a nice lip, so you can actually just fold that over and that gives you a direct um, in half fold as well. And then use your bone folder. And I don't know where mine is. I need two of those too. And I would use the open as well. Okay, I can't find it. I use my old one. It's got all marks on it. So I'm lucky I could find that one. And then that could go on there. And then, like I say, you can use your, put your little greenery on there and whatever saying you would like to add on there. How cool is that? There we go. You made it. I'm just finishing off, Athena. There we go, because I just did some mirror imaging. Um, yeah, so I will just bring my cards back in, but catch it up on replay. Um, and hope, oh, look, I hope you um, learnt some things. I might, um, if any, if people are interested, I might bring, do some more um, techniques if if people want to learn more and more around their stamparatus. Now, where's my car, other cards? Oh, here we go. Um, so I made this one, and I also just showed you how to make a front to make that card there. So. Um, there we go and then we made those ones there that's awesome so hopefully um you got something out of tonight 
What was your favourite? I don't know. What's everyone's favourite? I don't know. Please do. I will do. I will definitely. And if, you know what, if I forget, remind me. Remind me that I've got to bring that Stamparatus back out again and show you how to do some more. Yes, please show more. <laughs> cool. Yeah. There is um there is the, the the splatter one too. I might I might show you how to do that one next time. That that's pretty cool as well. Um yeah. And who knows, I might might even bring it out for a um what do you call it? A scrapbook page. I am tired today. Like I say, big big week at work. I'm so glad it's the weekend. All the cards are great. Thanks, Angela. Love the reflection. Oh, that's great, Dimity. Love the L. I know. I loved elephants. That's a quote. Um, the reef, but all is good. Yeah. It, it looks nice, doesn't it? It's just perfect. It works out perfectly. More techniques? No problems. Will do. Nut would definitely be happy to. All right. Well, I'm going to close off. If you're, like I say, if you don't have a demonstrator, please do um, shop with me. I would love to help you out. Um, with all your crafting needs um, and if you're interested I know I do have a few people that are uh, d debating whether to come a, become a demonstrator it is an awesome awesome benefit to have it's um, well worth the discount and it's well worth being part of such an awesome community of like-minded people so drop me a comment and let me know and I can help you out for sure thank you everybody for joining um, I'm just seeing some more Sam, yeah, thanks, Sam, Martha. At least I have homework to do. Thanks, Amanda. Yep, yeah, okay, cool. Um, they're all great techniques, love them all. No problems, and share to my group. Oh, thank you, um, Sam, for sharing. And yeah, bye, Louise. I shall see you um, soon. Um, um, yeah. I will catch you all next week. Have a great week and stay safe. Bye.